Okay, tonight we're going to be replacing a uh, timing belt on a 1998 Subaru Forester 4 cam engine. Uh, we'll be setting up the uh, timing belt, replacing all the idlers, and a new tensioner. Okay, on the uh, new timing belt, there is five different marks that you need to look for. There's a single little dotted line that's the center. It's going to be on the crankshaft and usually your writing will be right to the right of that. You follow it along, that's going to be the top uh, left intake cam, the exhaust cam on the left side, and to the other side, uh, the right side cam intake and exhaust. And we'll show you where to set those up in just a minute. First we're going to uh, put the new idlers on and uh, Get them all set up. Um, this is what happened to this one. The idler, the bearings went bad in it. Uh, froze up, tore the timing belt off. And this is an interference engine, which means uh, when the valves get out of time, uh, they do a lot of damage and the pistons hit the valves or the valves in this case actually hit each other because the cams get out of sync. So we'll uh, Put these new idlers on everywhere and then we'll uh, start setting the timing belt up. Okay, now that we've had the uh, new idlers installed, we're going to uh, set up the timing marks and get the belt on. Uh, I like to use these little pony clamps uh, to help hold the belt in place. Uh, it's not too bad when the engine's out of the car like this, but uh, leaning over the car uh, it gets kind of tight in there with the radiator right here. and and to see what you're doing. So, uh, at least with it like this, you can see what's going on. Uh, the right side cam is pretty easy to uh, set up and hold in place. There's no load. The cam is in its free position on both the intake and the exhaust. But on the uh, left hand side over here, it's um, actually preloaded. So, you have to kind of, when we turn it and lock it into position before we get there. So I'll get the belt started on and uh, and we'll get to the left side. That's the side that always gives everybody a problem. Okay, we've got the uh, timing belt set in place. Uh, the crankshaft is set. No timing mark on the back. It lines up with a little dot on the uh, front oil pump cover. <clears throat> I put a little um, yellow paint on it to help uh, to help you see it but it's a little notch there um, intake cam lines up with the single notch on the intake pulley and on the back of the cover there's a small notch um, follow that around your next line lines up on the exhaust cam with the single notch and there's also a little notch in the cover and in between the two of them there is a double notch. These two double notches will line up once the uh, load is put on the belt they come right into alignment. So we'll go across using one of the clamps to keep you on the on the uh, crank coming around and clamp it so that your one notch lines up with your pulley. Okay, on the uh, left side, the cams are loaded, meaning that they've uh, got some spring tension on them. They're going to be pushing the valves open. So on this side, I like to take this bottom one, line it up with the mark on the outside, and we'll clamp it in place. And then using the intake cam, bring the cam all the way back until your mark lines up with the mark on the belt, put your clamp on, and then bring them both back together, and then you'll be lined right up where you need to be. Uh, we'll put our tensioner in here, and everything should be good. Okay, now that we've got our uh, belt where we think we need it to be, we're going to put the tensioner in. I'll slide it right in place here, and tighten it up.
Okay, now we've got our tensioner in and tightened up. We want to make sure that we still have some play there. That it is pivoting on this bolt. Sometimes it'll bind up or if you don't get the washer in the right spot, it'll wedge it up and it'll, it won't tension properly. Uh, so we're going to double check our marks. Mark here is good on this intake cam, exhaust cam. Those look good. Tension on the belts. Fill it good. Um, left side cams where they need to be. So now we will uh, pull the pin on the tensioner and remove our clamps. And that will self tension. We'll take these off and uh, turn the engine over a couple of times in direction of rotation and bring our marks back up and make sure that uh, everything lines up where they're supposed to. Okay, we've turned it over two times at least. And we're bringing it back up to our time and mark the front the top. Um, all the other marks are where they're supposed to be, the single ones to the outside, the uh, double ones right together. And of course these marks on the belt are not going to be, they're not going to come up every time. You'll have to turn it over quite a few times to get them to come back. So two times over, it feels good, it's turning nice, no uh, binding or anything. Um, if you felt any binding, stop right away and double check everything. Uh, we're going to just retorque these main bolts for the idlers, uh, make sure we got them all and put it back together.